Okay, in this video, I'm gonna talk all about the process through my direct booking site. It's getting closer and closer. So I'm just kinda wanna do a quick video, kinda update you guys on the learning process and stuff I'm going through as I'm going through it. So if that interests you, take a look at this video, watch it, and... Hey guys, I'm your host. For those of you that are new to the channel, thank you so much. My name is John Hillebrand. I'm an official Airbnb ambassador. I've been hosting for 2016. So I've been doing hosting for quite a long time and I've never really thought about direct bookings. For those of you that watched my channel before, I made a couple little videos about thinking about direct booking and kind of going through the process. So in today's video, I just kind of want to take a little bit more of a deeper dive in my journey and my process thus far, so you can kind of see what's going on in my mind, maybe it will help you guys and whatnot. So it's kind of just like an update. The whole entire site's gonna be done soon, but I'm just gonna give you guys a little preview, a little behind the scenes. But I first just wanna talk about my journey of being a vacation rental host. So when I first started, pretty much all I really knew about was Airbnb. I didn't think there was anything else, to be honest. So I put my listing on Airbnb, it took off, became a super host on there fairly quickly. And it was like, I just kinda learned it as I went. I didn't have any background, I had no clue what I was doing really, to be honest. And never thought I was gonna grow the business. Fast forward a couple years, I've sold a handful of properties at that point. I've had a handful on Airbnb, I have nine that is currently live right now. I manage properties for some people, and I'm also always buying new properties. So my portfolio is growing quite a bit, and I've always just relied on Airbnb. I love Airbnb, it's gotten me to where I am today. As you guys know, I talk about Airbnb all the time as an ambassador, but I never really thought outside of that process. Like, what's next? How do I keep growing? Do I need a direct booking site? I just did everything on Airbnb. And then as I grew more properties, I launched a pricing tool, which I used Wheelhouse pretty much from day one. Once I started getting familiar with it, I pretty much locked in with Wheelhouse. Then I got onto Hospitable. That way to get direct messaging, auto responses, messaging, organization, a bunch of different properties can sit on Hospitable. Now, let me be fully transparent. I love hospitable it's literally one of my favorite programs i don't know where it'd be without it if anybody has maybe eight properties or lower hospitable hands down is the best platform it's not really considered a pm software but it really does have the best like auto messaging templates organization i really love the calendar and it's really easy to use one of my suggestions you guys is even if you have one property two you think you're gonna get more I would start with Hospitable right away. I would get in that system, you know, familiar with it, get your properties going and whatnot. But there's like a growing pains that I'm going through right now. I'm trying to be as open and honest as possible. I still learn insane. I'm in a ton of different mentor groups. I'm always doing research. And as my business is growing, which is amazing, I never thought I would have nine properties in life ever and as my business is growing I'm outgrowing a lot of my platforms which is great but it's also very scary because then I got to get new ones and whatnot so I knew I was gonna build a direct booking site so I was kind of just attacking one thing at a time so when Mark and I started talking he at Boostly Mark Simpson and Boostly did a really big collaboration with Hostfully. Now, some of you guys probably know about Hostfully. I've talked about it a few times, but Hostfully, I'm already using it already to do my guidebooks. Never thought of Hostfully as my PM, all my messaging and whatnot. So with doing the direct booking website, Hospitable, unfortunately, couldn't work. There were so many things that Hospitable just flat out would not sync correctly with direct bookings and Boostly. So for me, that was a super bummer. I reached out to Hospitable many times, let them know about it. And they're a small company. They just don't have enough engineers to fix the problem really, really fast. Hostfully is massive and they already had everything plugged in. And I'm just gonna go over a few of the highlights of why Hostfully is a much better fit for me having more properties and doing the direct booking. So with Hostfully, one of my concerns in doing direct booking was collecting taxes. How do I know taxes? Guest communication is always a big one as well. Double bookings. What if I book on direct booking? Is it gonna sync with Airbnb, VRBO, all that other stuff? Also, as I grow, 
it is better to be on as many platforms as possible because it's marketing, but you gotta be really, really organized. Hospitable, unfortunately, doesn't really communicate too well with Wheelhouse and doesn't really communicate too well with the other platforms. It works great with VRBO and Airbnb, but there was always problems with VRBO. So with Hostfully, I can connect my Wheelhouse straight into Hostfully. Hostfully then will speak to all the platforms. So hopefully there's a lot less errors. One thing I really love about it too is that now I can do all my taxes with direct booking on Hostfully. Another insane feature on Hostfully, I'll try to explain this strategy. On Airbnb, let's say my rate is $200. I can put in the 3% fee and it will automatically calculate that and hostfully. Now, let's say on VRBO, I wanna charge like 10 or 15, 20% more because I'd rather get more of my bookings on Airbnb anyways. In hostfully, I can put 10% or 20% more on VRBO. That's pretty cool. Then on my direct booking site through hostfully, I can say, I want my direct booking site to be 10% cheaper than all the platforms, which is really, really cool because that means if somebody's out there searching to try to book me and they find me on my direct booking site on Boostly, they can save 10%, save the platform fee, so they end up saving probably 20 or 30%. So that's just another really cool feature that I liked about Postfully. Like I was saying, as I was growing more and more properties, I ended up hiring on a virtual assistant, and now she really helps me with my properties. She helps me do the onboarding, she helps me with guest communication, and Hospitable was great, but there was a lot of things that weren't syncing, and I would have to give her all the passwords to Airbnb, and we would have to change things. It just made it kind of confusing and a lot of wasted time. With Hostfully, I could put all of my properties in there, no matter what account, as long as I have the admin account, I put it in Hostfully and I can build and change everything on the back end on Hostfully. And then it will automatically sync to all the other platforms, direct booking, VRBO, Airbnb. I don't have to log into every single one of them and then make those changes. I can even in Hostfully create an account. So let's say I get a brand new property tomorrow, I can put it directly in Hostfully, set up all the settings, amenities, checklists, all that stuff, and then sync it to my direct booking site, and then sync it to Airbnb and VRBO right away. I don't have to open up Airbnb and VRBO and build a whole new listing. That's pretty awesome and saves me an insane amounts of time. So as you can see, the more properties you get, you kind of have to adjust your business, right? If certain things aren't working or if it's slowing you down and it becomes like more tedious work, then you gotta look for the next best tool. Luckily, Mark did such an awesome job partnering with Postfully and Boostly. So I'm gonna kind of talk to you guys about that transition and what I'm going through. So hopefully if you guys are in my same boat, you guys will learn from this and realize that it's not really too scary and you'll figure it out and whatnot. So just to dive into this, I'm not gonna go too crazy because this video will be 40 hours long. But like I said, all my properties were inhospitable. My website is on a soft launch. And I'll show you guys here in a second. It's pretty much done and built on the back end. But all these things don't work for hospitable. So now it's switching to hostfully. Now, let me just explain how easy this was. At first, I was so insanely scared. I was really stressed out. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to like transport nine different listings and change everything. But what was awesome is since I did with Boostly, they have that partnership. So Hostfully set a virtual meeting with me and my assistant for the first hour in the first meeting, we went through all of my goals, where I plan on going, what packages I would need. And then the coolest part is they were able to sync my properties with Hospitable, VRBO, Airbnb, and my direct booking and sync it all so that at least they can get it all on the platform. So it only took like a couple hours and all of my listings were are on the back end of Hostful. I can't say enough nice things about Mark Simpson. If you guys know him, you guys definitely know what I'm talking about. And the knowledge that him and his team really like, in lack of better words, have really held my hand through this whole process. When I get really stressed out, they're like, okay, let us help you. Let us take a look at it. Don't worry about it. But it's really, really easy. And one of the best parts about Boostly for me is all I had to do is give them my iCal links to my PM software. And in a couple weeks, 
my website already had a soft launch. So I was able to look at it on the back end, make some adjustments, but everything was already there. I physically didn't have to do that much at all. It was worth everything. It was just like really easy, smooth process. And then connecting the host fleet is just a part of the direct booking. I highly, highly recommend it. You can set up a call with Boostly. They can kind of help you through that process. I'm gonna jump into my website, give you guys a quick preview. All right, you guys, I just wanna give you a quick look at my Boostly direct booking site. It's so, so dope. I'm so excited, like it's freaking dope. But here, right when you go to my page, it's really obvious of what it is. You know, you can start looking at the locations right here. Um, and like I said, some of this stuff is still in the works, so some things are not 100% working. But let's say you type in Scottsdale. It brings up this cool map and shows all my properties in Scottsdale. So cool. And then let's say you click on the property, pulls up all the photos. It has the same kind of layout as an Airbnb flow. I'm huge on design. I love good design and this has a really clean design still. Thank God I've seen a lot of direct booking sites that don't. I really love using the icons. I'm a visual person so if I can just look at really quick icons really quick, it's gonna help me book the place. Obviously, then you go in there and you put all your copy, kind of the same thing as your Airbnb, it just sucks it all in. So it makes it really easy. I didn't really have to copy and paste or retype all this stuff. And then it shows the guest amount. You can do the calendar right here. It's just super cool. You can see available dates, pending, uh, it's booked. Yeah, so just wanted to give you a super quick, this is my homepage. Some of my properties tells a little bit about me, but now my site is this really, really focused on direct bookings. It has some of the latest reviews that just came in. And then some of the partnerships that I'm working with down at the bottom to kind of give the website some credibility. So that's a quick preview of my website. Now, let me just jump in really quick. This is what the back end looks like on Hostly. I'm not gonna go too hardcore into it, but you can see the back ends of the properties. These are all the properties that are imported right now and I'm currently working on. So let's say I click on Casa de Maya and this is what the back end looks like. I type in what kind of house it is, all the information like Airbnb, add a cover photo, what the price is gonna be, tax, security deposit if you need it, is it a smart lock, do you put in the Wi-Fi, like everything you normally would. This is where you put in the description, so it gives you all the icons. So because you know how some platforms have different layouts and descriptions, not everybody has exactly the same layout, but you can see what each logo is. You put in your information, just like your regular building, a regular listing. This is where all the amenities see it, since BRBO and Airbnb have different amenities and the way they say things and check it off. This is where you just go in here and you're like, oh, it has a cat, you click on it. It's literally that easy. It's really cool. I'm just now learning it and kind of figuring it out. One thing I love, I won't go too into it now, but they have reports for my accountant. They have a back end port for my clients. Let's say they want to sign in and see how many bookings we have and how the bookings are going. Really, really cool. And then this is where the photos. Great part about the photos, I can go like this and drag them and it changes the order right then and there. Right in the captions, super cool. So yeah, just wanted to give you a quick view on the back end of what Hostfully and my website is looking like. So that's just a, a quick update on the process of going direct booking, building out a direct booking website. And hopefully if you guys like this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit more of this because I think it's really, really important. And as I'm learning it, I think it gives a lot more value for me to like kind of tell you my journey and you know my stresses so you guys can compare yourself. But let me know, are you guys, thinking about doing direct bookings? Is that something you're scared about also? What are some of your challenges with direct booking? Since I'm going through it right now, I'm really open to helping anybody that does have the questions. So reach out to me and maybe you guys wanna look into hospitable and or hostfully, it depends on where your journey is and how big your business wants to grow. But anyways, love making these videos. Thank you guys so much. Like, subscribe, all that good